Make the beep. Make the beep. There we go. We saw that it was x plus 3, x minus 3. And I told you to pay special attention to the fact that normally we would never write that. Why would I put it there? To lead you to this piece of knowledge. x squared minus 9 is x plus 3, x minus 3. And it was the square root and the square root. Right? I have proof of that by going right to here and showing it to you. Right? We all remember this, yeah? Okay. Now, that is the easiest kind of difference of squares factoring. So we're going to practice that a little bit, and then we're going to make it more complex. But as always, the original thing that you do is the same thing that you do all the way along. Okay? So let's start very easily here. Is this in factored form or is it in product form? That is factored. If you see something factored with an equals beside it, you should expand it. Yes? So what is x times x? x squared. X squared. What is x times negative 4? Negative 4x. Four 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 what is 4 times x? positive 4x. And what is 4 times negative 4? Negative, negative 16. And then we would collect our like terms and we would get x squared. Mm -hmm. What happens here? Uh, Gone minus 16. Right? Now, that, if you saw that with an equal sign, you would then factor it. And how do we factor that? Well, you've got it factored right here. The answer is x plus 4, x minus 4, correct? What is the relationship between x squared, x, and x, and 16, 4, and 4? 4 times 4 is 16, and x times x is x squared. They're both the square roots, yes? Yeah. So, if it happens once in math, and we have seen it now happen thrice in math, which means it must always happen, correct? Uh -huh. So, what that leads us to is this lovely piece of mathematical knowledge. If I have anything, and I'm going to use x's and y's, if I have anything squared, and I subtract anything squared, the factored answer is always the square root of the first thing, square root of x squared plus the square root of y squared and then the same thing but it's minus now you will say to me but Myers there's no second squared there but there is because this is really x squared minus 4 squared isn't it? yeah because 4 squared is 16, correct? Yeah. So, what is the square root of x squared? X, because x. x times x is x squared. So this is x. The square root of x squared is x. Plus, what's the square root of 4 squared? 4, because 4 times 4 is 4 squared, plus 4. And then I just write it again. Always. Is everybody good? If it works once in math, it always works. But I've showed this to you three times, and it's always worked. Yes? Mm -hmm. So just to make sure, before we go any further, I'd like to remind you of a couple of things. Do not write down what I'm about to do. Just use your brain. x squared minus 64. What's that? x and 8. x plus 8. x minus 8. X minus eight. Well done m squared minus 1. M plus 1. M plus 1. M minus 1. Does 1 even have a X, of course 1 has a square root. 1 times 1 is 1. Yeah. Q squared minus 36. 
Q plus 6. Q minus 6. 49 minus J squared. 7 plus J. 7 plus J. And then 7 minus, seven minus J. Everybody good? Yeah. One quarter minus P squared. Mr. Myers. One, one, one half plus P. One half minus P. Does it matter what it looks like ever? No, you simply take the square root of the first one, add it to the square root of the second one, and then write it again with a minus. Is everybody good? Now let me ask you this. You have just learned something new. Does something old have to fall out of your head? No. No. Should anything old fall out of your head? No. no, because all your previous math rules still apply. So should I forget factoring type 1 and factoring type 2 when I'm working on factoring type 3? No. Of course not. Is everybody ready to try? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make sure you're ready to try by asking you one more question. B squared plus 81. B minus nine. Pardon me, Hannah? Of course it doesn't work. Why? It's, an, it's not a difference of squares. It's a sum of squares. Why doesn't it work? Well, if this is going to be positive, then the two signs have to be the same, don't they? So it would have to be B plus 9 and B plus 9, wouldn't it? What's B times B? B squared. B squared. Shut up, Myers. There's B squared right there. What's B <laughs> times 9? 9? Oh, B. 9B. 9 9B. What's B times 9? 9 9B. 9B. What's 9 times 9? 81. 81. 9 and 9? B squared plus 18B plus 81. Oh. Nothing disappears. Ah, oh, Myers, screw you, it's negative. Okay, B minus 9, B minus 9, B squared minus 9B, minus 9B, plus 81. B squared minus 18B, plus 81. If it's adding, the middle term will not drop out. Now, the middle term has a fancy name, but you don't need to worry about that until later. Okay. So the answer is... Like, the, this does not factor. So we there is, leave that blank? It doesn't factor. Okay. Everybody good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, let's see if you're really ready. Now you're going to be writing stuff down. This first one is not fitting into our pattern, is it? It's not squared and squared. Or is it? Does that have a square root? Yes. What is it? Four. No. The square root of 16 equals 4. The square root of x is 0. x to the... If it was x to the 4th, then x to the 4th times x to the 4th would equal x to the 16th. Does it? No. Because no. What is it, Harsh? x to the 8th. So... Again, if something happens once in math, this is almost new information, isn't it? What's the square root of x squared? X. Why? Because x. What is x squared? X, x times x. I'm looking for groups how big? Two. Groups of two. So out comes an x. Easy peasy. Okay. What's the square root of x to the fourth? That's x times x times x times x. Group of two, group of two, x squared. Already you should see the pattern. What is the square root of x to the sixth? x cubed. What is the square root of x to the eighth? 
x4. What is the square root of x to the 64th? x to the 32. What is the square root of x to the 9th? x3. Doesn't exist. Everybody good? Okay. So now that you have seen that and you've seen that pattern that you knew, right? I didn't actually show you that. You put it together. What then is the square root of x to the 16th? 8. What's the square root of 1? 1. Plus 1. And x to the 8th minus 1. Am I done? No. Why not? Ethan, why not? Why am I not done? Factor completely. Oh, you think I'm done. Okay. You have to factor completely. I, it says factor completely, but I factored. Why am I not done? You can factor x to the 8th negative 1. Is that a perfect square? Mm -hmm. Is that a difference? Is that a perfect square? Yeah. So does that factor? Yeah. So I got to keep going. Can I forget about my previous factors? No. Damn it. X to the 8th plus 1. All right, fine. I'm done. X to the 4th plus 1. X to the 4th minus 1. Now I'm done. No. Why not? 4 has a square. 4 has got a square. Myers. X to the 8th plus 1. X to the 4th plus 1. X... Squared plus one. X squared my Now I'm done. No. 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 God, Myers, piss off. X to the eighth plus one. X to the fourth plus one. <laughs> X squared plus one. X what? X. Plus, uh, minus? No. And? X, X minus. minus one. Now I'm done. Yeah. Yes. Why would I give you this question as the very first one? To see if you understand square roots. To see, no, not if you, I know you understand square roots. We've already done that, a test on that. What am I checking here? To make you see that one step of factoring is often not the end of the game. Okay? Just like if I gave you 38 over 72. That's a bad one. Damn it. If I gave you 40 over 72, your first simplification would be 20 over 36. Would you stop? No, because you would need to go to 10 over 18. Would you stop? No, because you would need to go to 5 over 9. Okay? Why didn't we do that to x8 plus 1? Why didn't we do that to the plus 1s? Because I just showed you on this whole page why you don't do it to the plus 1s. Remember? Everybody good? All right. Now you've seen the, the method. You've seen a difficult one. Let's look at some slightly easier ones. What have I got there? X squared, y squared minus. What about that bothers you? There's two, There's variables. two variables. If there was only one variable there, Ethan, could you do that? Yeah. What would it be? Uh, yeah, you do. Sure. 225, yeah. And what is it? Somebody help him out. 15. You knew that it was going to be a square root, and you're going to use the tool to give you the square root, right? Nothing wrong with that. X. It was X squared and 225. So it was X plus 15, and then what? Absolutely correct. Great. What if there was no x there it would be y plus 15 y minus 15 so what is it x y x y is there ever a reason to ask if you've done this right no because how do you know you check it is x y times x y x squared y squared yes is minus 15 x y plus 15 x y zero is 15 times negative 15, negative 225. Yes. So did I do it right? Everybody good? Yeah. Sweet. Let's move it along then, cabbages. What happens in three? How do you know the first one is a perfect square? Because eight is square root of eight is four. What, a, 
Right. But how did you know to even try? What is it about 8 that made you know it as a square root? Even it's an even number. So yeah. this must be z to the fourth plus what? 12. 12. And then? And am I done? No. Really? No. Why do you think I'm not done, because Hannah? No, I'm asking Hannah, Ariana. Yeah, 4 does. You're right. That would be z squared and z squared. And it's a difference. Does 12 have a square root? So do I continue? Everybody good? Sometimes it'll look like it'll work. But it won't. Is everybody cool? Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at four. Whoa. Hello. Again, what bothers you about four? The constant has a variable. Well, the last one has a variable. There's two different variables. Two different variables. No. Okay. But when I showed you the rule, didn't I use variables? Yeah. So are we okay with the variables? Yeah. What would be the square root of x to the sixth? x to the third. Plus what square root of y squared? Y. Y. And then x to the third minus y, correct? Well, what's square root of four? Two. Is two x cubed times two x cubed four x to the sixth? Yes. Yep. What's square root of 25? Is 5y times 5y, 25y squared? No. Is it? Yep. Done. Wow. Now, you now have seen everything that could possibly happen to you in difference of squares. Everything that could possibly happen. Have you seen everything there is to see? No. Good. Of course not. I hope no one turned the page. Do I ever leave that much white space? No. Of course not. The first wrinkle that might happen to you is this. 3x to the fifth minus 27, oh, not y, x to the 27x. Talk to your neighbors. Remember, I warned you about not forgetting types 1 and 2. Harvira, you got something to say? Because Gio threw your hand up. Josh, you got something to say? Couldn't I what? I could divide them all by 3x. And what would I get? 3x, x to the fourth minus 9. What do I do there? x squared plus 3, x squared minus 3. Can I continue? Why not? Three is not a perfect square. That's the first thing that might happen to you. What do I always say when you look at a question? What is my question that I ask you? I always say, what don't you like about this? What about this question made you not jump right into what you know is going to work? You didn't like the three. You didn't like those exponents. So what should you try to fix? The stuff you don't like. Right? Okay, that's the first thing that could screw you over. Uh, let's look at the second thing that could screw you over. X plus 4 squared minus 16. Um, what bothers you? This, the at the top. That X plus 4 squared, yes? But you You could make them what? Make, like, double them. Like, oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Ariana says, well, if that's squared, isn't it just x plus 4? 
and x plus 4 minus 16. And isn't x plus 4 times x plus 4, isn't that something squared? Mm -hmm. Well, isn't the square root of x squared x? Mm -hmm. So what must the square root of x plus 4 be? x plus 4. So isn't this x plus 4 plus what's square root of 16? 4. And then what's in this side? x plus 4 plus 4? Minus 4. Now, don't I see like terms? So what's this? x not squared. 4 plus 4, guys. 8. X plus 8. And 4 minus 4? X. X. And that is the finished product there. Does everybody see why? Yes. Now, I'm going to give you a very, very powerful mathematical gift. It will help you in the rest of grade 10. It will help you in grade 11. It will help you in grade 12. Are you ready to see that gift? Sure. Good. Who is in charge of these questions? Me. You are. Does this x plus 4 squared minus 16 jump off the page and punch you in the mouth? Kind of. No. <laughs> no, it's just sitting there minding its own business. Yeah. Can you change how that looks? Yeah. Can you mess that up? If you don't like the looks of something, can you fix it on paper? You can't in real life, but you can bully this math. <laughs> X minus 6 squared minus 81. Ugly, yeah? Make it look like something we like. A equals x minus 6. What does that mean? Anywhere I see x minus 6, what can I write? A. a. Do I see x minus 6? Yeah. So what can I write there? A squared. a squared minus 81. Can I do that in my head? Yes. Can I do that in my head while I'm asleep? Wait, no. Can I do that in my head while I'm asleep while I'm underwater? Can I do that in my head while I'm asleep, while I'm underwater, and while I'm having a bad dream? Of course I can, because what is this answer? A minus... A... A plus... A plus 9. 9 and... A minus, a minus 9. But what's A? Ah, X minus 6. X minus 6. So isn't this X minus 6 plus 9? Yeah. And what's this? x minus 6 minus 9. What is negative 6 plus 9? Plus 2. x plus 3. What is negative 6 minus 9? x minus 15. When am I allowed to do that? Any time I want to. Because I am in charge of this math. Well, then you would have to do this mess over here. But I don't care what you do. Tobby. What is negative 6? Because x minus 6 is a. x minus 6 is a. Minus 6 plus 9. Everybody good? Now you've truly seen everything that could possibly happen to you. So now, without writing anything down, I want you to see if you can come up with a strategy with your neighbor to solve the following two questions. You don't have to write it down. You just have to come up with an idea to do so. Is everybody ready? Uh, 75... P plus 2 squared minus 12 
Да. Don't do anything. Talk to your neighbor about something you could do. When you have decided on a, something you could do, somebody in your little group put up their hand and give me a direction to go. I'm going to let everybody have a moment because a lot of people are still talking. All right, who would like to give me a first step that might help us out? Ariana? I can change P plus 2 to any letter I want to make it look prettier, right? I'm going to make that X. So what do I write instead of this? 75X squared minus 4. Now what bothers me? Or is there, the x squared is a perfect square. Is 75? No. Is 12? No. No. Can I change the way a polynomial looks? Yes. How? I can divide by something. What could I divide by? Three. Three. 25 x squared minus four. Now what? Talk to your neighbor. What do you see? What has appeared that wasn't there before? Wait, negative four. A square minus a square. So what do I do? You change three times twenty-five. What's this? No. Five. Five x plus two. Two. And then five x minus. Now, are there any x's in the question? No. So what must I do? Change what? X. All my x's to what? P plus 2. P plus 2. So I get 3, 5, P plus 2, plus 2. 5, P plus 2, minus 2. Now, what would you do? Five, you would do the inside. Well, you could actually. You do five times p, five times two. Three, five p plus ten, ten plus two. Five. And what's this? Five p plus ten minus two. Then what? Now do three, which fifteen p. No. Five p plus twelve because they're like terms and p plus eight. And now, do I have a factor and another factor and another factor? So have I factored this? Yes. Yes. And that's about the hardest difference of square question I can give you. When I wrote that out, how many of you were a little, whoop, all of you? When I did one step that you understood, how many of you saw something happen? All of you. Then you saw another thing happen that you knew what to do. Then you saw another thing happen that you knew what to do. Then you saw another thing happen that you knew what to do. Then you saw another thing that happened that you knew what to do. What is the only way to guarantee you will never find the answer? Not doing anything. Would I ever give you a question that you could do nothing with? I've done it twice in your notes. For what reason? To let you know that it is indeed possible that you cannot factor. So you won't put it on a test? I might. You need to know when to do something and when not to do something. Okay? If you're a doctor and somebody's dodgy in the heart, do you chop off their arm? No. No. You have to know when to do the right thing as much as you have to know when not to do something. Okay? Everybody good? So the answer is... Can so, keep going from that? No. 
That is something times something times something. There are that is factored. Oh, you have three factors now. I could expand it, but that's not what we That need to wouldn't do. be factoring. Expansion is what we are trying to avoid. Is everybody good? What if I gave you this? Wait, wait. <clears throat> what bothers you? What's the mathematical gift I have given you? Change it to something that we like. Okay, so what can I make that? All right, so that's a squared minus... Can I put A here? Why not, Aaron? Because it's different, so what do I got to use? A B, a different letter. Is that squared minus squared? Yeah. Great, so what's the answer? A plus B and? A minus B. A minus B. Are there any A's and B's in the original question? No. What's A? 2X minus 3. 2X minus 3. Plus, what's B? X plus 5. X plus 5. What's A? 2X minus 3. Minus what's B? Now we're back in grade 9. Are there like terms? Where? Where are there like terms in green? The two, the X's. The X's. What's 2 X's plus 1 X? Three X's. What's negative three plus five? Two. Uh, plus two. two. What's two X's? Where's the like terms in pink? X. X. What's two X? Take away one X. Uh, X. X. What's negative three minus five? Eight. Negative eight. <laughs> Do I now have factor times factor? Yeah. Am I done? Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Everybody good? Yeah. Go. You got the rest of the day. 134, practice. 135, assignment. And those are marks. This is Monday. 135 has a little bit of everything. Um, I think. Yep. Did we learn how to do that with trinomials? Everything we just did? Of course. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen, please. While you are practicing right now, I am going to add to the recording from the lesson with the entire key to page 134. So you can check it and make sure before you go on to the thing that is for marks. Oakley doakley. Oakley doakley. And of course, in 10 odd minutes, I will show you the first six so you definitely know you're doing it right. Everybody good? Go. Mm -hmm.
for number three. Two uh, doesn't. Yeah. I mean, fifty doesn't have a skirt. Do you see any common factors at all? No. Yes. No, because fifty doesn't have X. Yeah, but what can they both divide by? <laughs> oh yeah, that's like five. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the whole page is done. The whole page has been recorded. Here are the first six answers so you can make sure you're doing it right. Are people ready to see the first six answers? That means you've done some of them. You're not sitting there yeah. going, hey, I don't know, Mr. Myers. You understand? Yes. All right. Two, five. Oh yeah, thank you. It it should have been plus five, but my pen is skipping all over the place still. Oh okay. Because um, all my pens are bad. Oh. Remember, can you forget about all your other kinds of factoring? No, that's why I leave it there. So you don't. But you did. That's like saying, Mr. Myers, I'm doing real well with trig, but I can't remember how to add. You better not forget how to add. Why did you choose 5 times 12? Because negative 5 oh, minus right. 12 is negative 17, yeah. and negative 5 times negative 12 is positive 60. That's why I couldn't use 3 and 20. Because 30 minus 2 is No, 3 and 20. 3 and 20 will get me to 17, but it won't, but it won't get me positive 60. It would have to have been 20 minus 3, which would have gotten me negative 60. Yeah, I quite like factoring because it's kind of like a puzzle. And I'm kind of nerdy that way. Well, not kind of nerdy that way. I'm really nerdy that way. Dude, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9... Ten, like, it's all what we just did. It's not kind of similar. It is. <laughs> I'm kind of similar to that guy that's been teaching you math all year. No, I am that guy that's been teaching you math all year. 
I don't even think I've missed a day. No, you guys have not had a sub yet. I don't know. It's bothering me, too. I don't know what it is. Blueberries. But it's getting redder and redder. It usually has to do with stress. Because my mother-in-law is super sick. And my wife is having to take care of my mother-in-law. Yeah. And my brother's a deadbeat. Oh, no. I had to see my grandpa in his hospital bed, and he couldn't talk, but he could it's see. Just 135 inside, not the back, not just 136. I don't know. Was it pleasant? I'd better check. Um, Oh, yeah, crap. I forgot about 136. No, 136 messes you guys up. We're going to do 136's notes. Nice. Find an interesting.